And welcome back, everyone, to today's Who Would Win, pre-recorded on Monday for Tuesday. This one comes to us. This will, now, when I do the week of Who Wins, I do want, I do try to aim for at least one or two Who Would Wins. I know a lot of people are requested, so I can get a lot of con like requests out of the way at once. This was one of them. Killer Croc vs. Lizard, which is brought to us by CJM, uh, Special K, uh, John WW... Maybe I got that one wrong. Oh, 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 uh, uh, J uh Jackery WWE Spider-Man Homecoming Toy Show. Uh, it just got real 88, and I think that was it. I think that was it. So, Killer Croc versus the Lizard. Now, both these guys are technically human, but there are some major differences. Killer Croc is actually afflicted with a uh, with a skin disease. Now, granted, in the DC world, skin diseases don't work the same way as they do in the real world. So, in his case, hypodermaplasia, something like that, gave him scaly skin. In this case, it gave him not just scaly skin, but more like reptilian features. Like, if you tested his DNA, it's clearly not normal. But he is still human, technically. But he's got enhanced physicality, enhanced durability, more primal instincts, more savage, uh, savage in nature. He can, he's, uh, more savage brutality, more savage nature. He's aquatic, uh, in terms of he's very well adapted to, to hanging out and swimming in water and hanging out in water. Uh, his strength and durability vary depending on the interpretation. There are versions of him that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with like a base form Bane. But like if you remember in the animated series, Bane whipped his ass. But that was the animated series. And that version of Killer Croc's also not that strong compared to other versions. Whereas other versions are like hulking juggernaut monster monsters that can like throw trucks. So take you know, it depends on what version you're looking at. It's also shown like in other interpret uh, comics too that he kind of continues to mutate a little bit. Uh, but he's also got insane bite force. Uh, he's just a very dangerous individual to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, unless you're like Batman or a super-powered individual. There is a catch, though, in that he isn't the brightest. He is very much a thug for hire, although there are interpretations of him that are much more intelligent than uh, the average one. Um, I remember the Batman, where he, look, he basically looked like an alligator guy. He looked like a crocodile guy. <laughs> it's like, yeah, and I believe he was voiced by Ron Perlman, which was awesome. Because every show needs a bit more Ron Perlman. Slade, man, Teen Titans. Uh, so, yeah, he's still very dangerous, very strong, and very powerful. The Lizard. Doc Connors was a, I believe he was a vet. And basically, he became a scientist, got his PhD and all that. But he lost his arm in, I believe, war, if I'm not mistaken. And so he worked to, you know, with lizard DNA to create, uh, so people could, you know, regenerate their limbs so he could regenerate his own limb. Eventually, it worked. But at the cost of mutating his DNA, splicing it with that of a lizard. So now he turns into the lizard. As the lizard, he is mu he's physically far more strong, uh, physically stronger than your average uh, human. Able to go reasonably toe to toe with Spider-Man, though he's ultimate. Again, it all depends on your overall interpretation because there are different iterations. Some are like huge monster <laughs> versions, similar to Killer Croc. But overall, he's generally if we're talking about like the standard humanoid-sized one, like we do with Killer Croc here. Then, uh, well, huge, bull, hulking humanoid, but still, same here. He is weaker than Spider-Man, but easily can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some... Like, Captain America, for instance, he could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Captain America physically. He has a tail that becomes ve is very handy for swiping opponents, keeping his balance. He's armed with claws, just like Killer Croc is. His snout's more reptilian-based than Killer Croc's tends to be, at least in most interpretations. He has a strong bite force as well. But the big thing, and he also has a high regenerative capability. He can regrow his limbs. He can. Now, the big difference here with Killer Croc and Lizard, though, is that Lizard, despite the fact his brain becomes more reptilian and primal, does retain a lot of his intelligence. He's still actually a genius. So he can, he is smarter and therefore can strategize more effectively. However, when these rage and animal instincts do take over, it does tend to cloud that aspect of him. So, if these two met, you know, and these are, I, I am giving a bit of a bare bones analysis to some degree, but that is the general gist. There's nothing overly complicated about these characters, to be fair. So, if these two met in a fight, who would win? Uh, let's say it happens in the sewer. Makes sense. They both tend to be in the sewer a lot. And they both cross paths with each other, and I think they both kind of blink at each other. It's like, mm -hmm. well, this is a thing. I think, though, the lizard is, like, probably the more territorial, because let's be honest, let's be clear. Both these guys technically still human. But he is, by all accounts, not a transfer. He's just a mute. He's he's a metahuman, 
but he's still a dude. It's like, who the hell are you? It's like, you know, the lizard just attacks him. Now, from a size comparison, if we're going by, let's just say the Ark conversion, which is this, which by the way, the Ark conversion of Killer Croc looked pretty good. Um, um, at least in this version, I thought that like that this model I thought was really awesome. So that's why I used it for the thumbnail. Um, like he's like, he's like seven, eight feet tall and he's, he's built, he's jacked. Um, Lizard is not as big, but he's taller, he's taller than six foot. He's taller than the average guy, but not by much. They're probably relatively equal. The problem right off the bat is I do think Killer Croc out muscles the lizard. And because even though he's not bright, he still thinks, he's still got a human's bra um, human brain where that doesn't have to be flogged by a uh, reptilian needs as much he can be a bit more you know okay i'm gonna actually fight you kind of mentality whereas the lizard will just react especially when he's his brain just especially when he goes nuts basically so you know killer croc uh, lizard comes in croc just throws him around the lizard quickly rebounds lizard is more agile than killer croc too you know throws his tail at him but killer croc grabs the tail swings him around uh, uh, so uh, lizard though finally is able to you know, gets bearing such being smacked around a bit. He's able to jump, lands on Killer Croc, just bites on him. But Killer Croc's th hide is so thick because let's actually be clear too: one's a lizard, one's a croc. Unless you're a monster lizard eating crocodile legs, the croc wins that fight. Um, at least in terms of nature. So he tries to bite into his hide, but it's too thick. Croc does the same, and he takes a good chunk out of Connor's shoulder. I don't usually eat well, the cold. Don't like my food cold. <laughs> uh, uh, and, and lizards kind of are jazzy. You know, you can, that's interesting. Uh, it looks like there's more of you to go around after all. And so they go back at it again. Lizard's swiping at him. He's getting on his like underbelly like a croc would. It's softer, so he could get more damage in. And croc realizes after the first like the first couple swipes. Probably like, you little son, you son of a... And he just breaks Connor's arm. Now, I don't think Connor can regen from that as easy. A, like, a torn off limb, that kind of regeneration is fine. But a broken limb does take a bit more effort. So it's like, he's trying to like... Ugh. And then a solid crotch just starts beating the living hell out of him. Because Connor is slashing... The, you know, you're, you might be wondering, why is Connor using his intelligence? Because in the scenario we play, uh, that's happening here, the most realistic one I can think of, Connor's probably already on the run. Even though he might try to interact a little bit... He's uh, and uses intelligence. He's a he's a scientist. He's not a tactician, even though he's probably in war. And he doesn't really have much to put Killer Croc down. Yeah, he's strong. He's got a powerful bite. And maybe if he tried to go for the neck, it might work. But the problem is, like the problem is, the minute that Croc starts beating him down, he stops Croc's hands. Maybe tries to go for his throat, and but Croc actually pries his hands open, and just uh, and just <laughs> snaps his, and basically just snaps his jaw and kills him. So. Croc takes him down. Now, why does Croc take him down? Well, when we actually look at Croc overall, he spent a lot of time working as muscle. He's not a martial artist or anything like that, but he's a brawler, and he can brawl well. I mean, even Batman, a master martial artist, has to be careful around him because he's just physically more powerful than Batman. The Lizard has never actually demonstrated those capabilities in combat. Even with intelligence, he's still pretty savage in terms of how he fights, Physically, I think Croc's got a durability advantage over him, and I think he's got a physicality advantage over him, depending on the version. There are versions of the Lizard that are stronger than the versions of Killer Croc and vice versa, but if you're talking about generalizations, general versions, yeah, it, Killer Croc, I think, has the strength advantage as well. Now, Lizard does carry the uh, agility advantage to, with him, so he does have that on his side, and he has a tail, and if he's thinking clearly for a little bit, he might be able to try to strategize a little bit, but ultimately, I actually think Killer uh, Doc Connors is kind of outmatched in this fight. Are there avenues he could win? Sure. Like I said, if he got his, uh, if he got a serious bite or claw and just like took out his throat, yeah, he'd bleed out probably. I, I think that's very likely. Uh, but ultimately, yeah, I, I go Killer Croc surprisingly. And you'd think, uh, you'd think I'd be more of the um, the uh, the lizard uh, because of his intelligence and uh, you know he can go to toe to toe Spider Man, but no, I think Croc actually holds a lot of advantages over him. Uh, intelligence and agility don't always make up for raw power and strength, sadly. So, in this fight, I go Killer Croc. But who do you got? Killer Croc or the Lizard? Put in the comments below and let me know. Till then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, wants to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. I'll be back um, with the Lantern Court video. I might have to put my... Let me see how much time I got left. Actually, I might be able to get it done. So... 
yeah, I'll be back with a later court video. Later, and hit the bell if you want to be notified.